this is the Combat Vehicle Robotics Engineering Evaluation Test 2. This is our first week up at Camp Grayling, Michigan. We're at the South FOB. We have our, our first performer up here, SIS. They're really focused on our, their formation control in autonomous mode. So Combat Vehicle Robotics, it is really a S&T program within GVR um, at GVSC where we invest in taking not only our internal investments of autonomy, that is our uh, robotic technology kernel, our warfighter machine interface, and really advance that product line. But we also take our partnered programs, so our other CCDC um, programs, and performers that we invest in that bring their technologies up to this event. So the WI is how we control the vehicles and put them into different modes and like waypoint and route following where route following is just kind of going point to point without obstacle avoidance whereas we go into waypoint mode and it will avoid and find the best path it can to get to that waypoint. Uh, you can also tally out from the WMI or load the plans to it, see the camera feeds, things like that. It's kind of your overall way of interacting with the vehicle. So the metrics tool is basically a data collection tool for uh, anything running uh, that could be captured on the WMI side that's connected to the system, talking to the uh, robotic side. It collects tons of data, way more data than is really practically human readable manually. Uh, my job is to find ways to automate the data analysis process and actually find some useful data within the huge amounts of data that we're collecting. So one of the really special things about the engineering evaluation test, two in this case, is that it's not just our word you take for it. We have a federally funded research and development corporation called MITRE that's out here developing their own test plans, running the tests, and they are going to compile a report that will tell you exactly what the NGCV CFT needs to know about robotic and autonomous systems, LOE2. So we'll act as a gatekeeper. You'll find out what the TRLs are for all of the associated technologies mm -hmm. from across CCDC and industry partners. And our real product is truth. That's what we deliver from the EET. And you know, we take the we take we take that the data, this this evaluation that MITRE is providing for us, and we actually we're going to become the conduit of technologies for the robotic combat vehicle. And that's the whole that's the whole ticket here is that we can we can tell the robotic combat vehicle these technologies are ready at this level. Because like obviously Jill and I are super passionate <laughs> about all this stuff, right? So. We're, we're gonna maybe come to you and say, oh, this stuff is great, right? And, and that's maybe what's happened in the past, but now it's the opportunity to have an independent party mm -hmm. say, well, yeah, we get Jill and Jason are confident in the technology, but we wanna see what's going on behind the curtain. And that's the opportunity that MITRE's gonna give you. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next week for the Jill and Jason update.